Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to take a look at the LS2 Rapid Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. So the real story with the Rapid is gonna be the price point on this. We're looking at an $80 price point for this in the matte colors or the solid colors, then you bump up to a $85 price point for the graphics. But really what you're getting is a DOT ECE rated helmet for sub $100. And being completely honest, the quality on this is really hard to nitpick when you look at everything that you're getting. So you have two shells. It is a thermoplastic shell. But what I was actually really impressed with is that it's relatively lightweight for being a plastic construction with this. It was around three pounds, four ounces in a medium, and it does have a neutral to round oval fit. So for those of you out there that are always complaining that you know too many of these manufacturers are moving to an intermediate or long oval, this helmet is gonna be neutral to round fit. That means a little bit shorter front to back, a little bit more room on the side of the head for those of you out there that are looking for something a little bit rounder. Now when we're breaking this down, some of the real creature, or creature comforts that struck me with this, that when you're looking at a you know, sub hundred dollar helmet, you, know, you lose a lot of the nicer features. The main thing that I really was struck with was the actual construction for the face shield. Big, beefy, thick face shield like we would see on a more expensive helmet, and it does come pin lock ready. Now there are no pin lock inserts in the box, you have to buy that separately, but the face shield itself is ready to accept that. And if you're not familiar, pin lock is an insert that can be placed on the inside of the face shield, and what that does is it helps with anti-fogging. So if you're riding a lot in colder weather, or you know, kind of humid areas, or you know, anywhere where it might get foggy on you, this is something that helps to cut down on that. And again, you would have to add that insert later. Now, you'll also notice we have three intake vents, and really solid feel with the intake vents on this. Again, a lot of the times when you're looking at less uh, expensive helmets, you lose some of those nicer creature comforts, but with this, you are gonna have really great actuation with this. Three active vents in the front, and you are gonna have passive vents on the rear, allowing that air to flow through. Again, very simple in its construction. There's not a lot of frills here, but what we are gonna see is just a quality piece for those of you out there that are looking for, you know, maybe your first helmet to get you out in a motorcycle. You don't have a lot of coin to drop, but you want something that's gonna keep you safe. This is definitely now gonna be a contender for, you know, I would say probably one of the nicest helmets that I've seen sub $100. Let's take a look at the inside. And the one thing we'll note with the inside of this is that you are gonna see the interior is probably where you're gonna have a little bit of that budget kind of a feel to it. Um, you do have a removable chin curtain, or I'm sorry, a removal, the chin curtain is not removable. The neck roll, however, is, you just have to give it a good pull, and you'll see there's kind of like this, uh, this plastic piece that just shoves up underneath the main area, so when you pull it out, that's the, uh, that's the little piece that actually holds into that base of the helmet, but that is gonna be removable. And then as we pull the uh, cheek pads out, there is gonna be a contour to the cheek pad, but again, just a very basic material, nothing too complex or comfortable with this. Um, it's not that it's uncomfortable, but it's one of those ones where you can see this being something that would wear out and need to be replaced with heavy use. Now I will say there is going to be internal cutouts for speakers, which is nice if you wanna add a comm system to this. That's you know something we'd normally see on a more expensive helmet, and that is carrying down into the more affordable Rapid from LS2. You're also going to have a quick release chin, so you're not gonna have the double D-rings. Now, this is a love it or hate it feature. Personally, not my thing. I would actually still like the double D-rings, but for you know those of you out there that are looking for a quick release on a helmet, sub $100, nice little feature add there. And then again, we can go ahead and pull the liner out. And one of the things with this is they actually are not gonna give you any kind of weird snaps, which can cause discomfort, so it's gonna be brow mounted. So they really put a lot of those, you know, comfortable features that you'd see on more expensive helmets into this more of a beginner level lid. Now, you'll also see you're not gonna have a lot of channel cutouts for the air in there. You just have those two small little cutouts. So I would not expect this to breathe as well as some of the more expensive helmets on the market. But again, you're sacrificing some of those comfortable features for a helmet that is coming in around the $80 price point in the solid colors. And then if you get up into the, uh, the graphics, that's gonna bump you about $5 more. And you're gonna see some of the other graphics on the table. You've got the grid on my left-hand side, and you're gonna have the LS2, you got some fast lines on this, and then you're gonna have the crypt over on my right, and the crypt has just got all kinds of weird snakes and demons in a matte finish. So again, for the $5 bump, that gets you up into the graphic if you are looking for something a little flashier than the solid colors. But for those of you out there looking for a solid lid, sub $100, there's really, I mean, not a lot you can find wrong to complain about this given the price point that you are gonna be shelling out for the helmet. Now there's a lot of folks out there utilizing LS2 helmets. 
And if you want to hear more about what they have to say, now would be the time to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting an LS2 helmet through its paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks, you can give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the LS2 Rapid Helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.